unreal. Other day we were uh, doing some moving and things was really hot the one day. It's a couple, like uh, I guess probably about two weeks ago actually. But um, you know we were driving a lot and things, and we didn't hadn't brought any water along to drink. And so it was you know hot. We're all thirsty. I had to stop at a gas station. So I went in and I'm like, okay, I'm just gonna get something to drink. I mean, I never do that, but I thought, well, you know, I used to drink a lot of soda, I used to drink iced tea, I used to drink a lot of things like that, and I thought, well, there's got to be something good, you know, so, walk into this gas station, mini market thing, and like, okay, there's the whole cooler with the soda, avoid that whole thing, just forget that, I mean, you know, I used to drink, like, I'd get a, you know, the big 24 pack of uh, uh, Dr. Pepper, when I used to work at uh, building boats years and years ago, and I just drink, you know, I drink like five cans a day, you know, and, and a gallon of iced tea, I'd go through that in, you know, a day or two, and uh, it was just crazy. Um, so I went organic because of uh, health issues that I was having, and, and I was, praise the Lord, for the knowledge for that. But anyways, so, you know, I'm like, okay, I can't, no soda, so I'm looking and I'm like, you know, I don't trust the water because half the time they're putting fluoride in the water. And so I was looking, you know, okay, what about orange juice? Well, orange juice is bottled by the same people that make Pepsi and Coca-Cola. And there's all, you know, actually more sugar in that than there is in soda pop. So I'm like, can't do that. So I thought, you know, I looked at iced tea and I thought, well, if I can get some kind of tea, you know, and things, I mean, we're just like dying of thirst here, you know. And, won't be doing this again, but uh, so I'm looking, I'm like, okay, sweet tea, real brewed tea, pure leaf, you know, Lipton here. And I thought, oh, I've gotten this stuff before. So I looked and I, and it says, uh, brewed tea, sugar, citric acid. Okay. I thought, well, the sugar, obviously they're putting white sugar in it. They're not going to use cane sugar or anything or whatever. So I thought, well, yeah, and I'm tossing back and forth. I thought, well, okay, you know, I don't do this very often. I'll just get it, you know, just whatever. <laughs> and and so, you know, and, and they had this organic tea there too. It was funny. And I was like, oh, organic tea. And, and I'm looking down through and it. And it was like, you know, had a bunch of junk in it, chemicals in it and stuff, natural flavors, which is uh, monosodium glutamate, you know, MSG. Excitotoxin makes you think that you're actually enjoying it and wanting, you, you know, make you think that you want more is what that thing is but so you know we like drinking it and it was like that's oh, pretty good it's kind of sickeningly sweet but i thought well you know at least it's cold it's you know liquid that we can feel hydrated again so we get home and we're looking down through my wife goes oh you gotta be kidding me i'm like what you know what did they put in it partially produced with genetic engineering Let's see if i can get that down there at the bottom you know, like, oh, it's just partially produced with genetic engineering. Oh, well, it would have been bad if it was totally produced with genetic engineering. But partially is okay. <laughs> it's just like, you know, partially poisonous. Don't worry, the whole thing's not bad. You know, so I was just like, are you kidding me? You know, I know for a fact. I used to get this stuff years ago before the Lord started showing me truth about the whole processed food from big companies like Lipton. But I used to get this stuff years ago, and there wasn't anything on there about genetic engineering. No way. Um, it's it's frustrating. You know, I mean, we live in a fallen world and everything else. First Timothy chapter 6, verse 10, for the love of money is the root of all evil. You know, there's more to the verse, but that really kind of summarizes what this whole thing is about. You see, because this isn't going to kill you, all right? But it will make you sick. If you're drinking this stuff on a regular diet, as part of a regular diet, soda pop, same thing, all this processed junk food this is just drinks there's all the potato chips and and you know anything microwavable and whatever else um it's not going to kill you the first time you eat it but it's going to keep you in a constant state of wanting more through msg natural flavors it's called what a joke you know it's going to keep you always wanting to buy more and never feeling satisfied i mean when's the last time you drank one can of soda and said i'm good for the whole day never going to happen you know uh, it's, you're always wanting more. You get you you feel thirsty after you're done drinking it. You know it's it's crazy. But uh, <clears throat> we were just at the store today. You know and and uh, 
we got this we used to get these organic graham crackers for our son you know and he likes graham crackers and and again we went and it's like we bought it before we looked at the package before we went this time same package looked at the ingredients natural flavors the one said natural flavors the other one cracked me up it actually said organic natural flavors it's like okay so you know msg can now be organic who knew you know i mean you know it just would stand to reason that these big companies are going to get to a point where they really could care less if they're being honest about organic things you know they just get to a point where they'll just say it's organic why we said so you know i mean i guess we'll eventually have organic chemotherapy or organic uh you know cyanide or something like this i mean it's insane so all that to say um it is so important it is vital i mean it's it's not even you know you could make the argument at one point in time that if you're eating too much sugar even natural sugar it's not good moderation here you know some of the natural fats and stuff you need to balance things if you're getting sugar from your fruit you know or even organic heirloom wild fruit has some level of sugar in it don't eat too much of that you know moderation that's stuff that you're going to see in the bible this stuff is toxic waste we're talking poisonous all right and you know you got to constantly be vigilant i mean be sober be vigilant because your adversary, the, the devil, I uh, can't think of how the verse goes, it's in uh, Peter there, but it uh, talks about, you know, he roams about seeking whom he may devour. And it's just like, if you are living in a state of sickness and your mind is not clear and whatever else, you're going to have a real hard time living for the Lord and lost people are going to have a hard time getting saved a lot of times. Uh, I mean, you just, just look at the health of the average person out there. I mean, we have stuff in American supermarkets other countries have banned you know america is probably the the leading uh just toxic food um seller out there and i mean you see people it's just like they're they're just you try to talk to them and they just kind of look at you i mean they're just not even there nobody's home you know um it's to a point and and you know oh it's just so expensive to eat organic stuff that that is another one of the biggest lies out there i mean if you're buying the real expensive organic type of stuff well okay you know but if you're going to small farm stands or even trying to pick stuff for yourself and drinking water don't drink other things or um you're not going to see it being real 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 expensive so just just a little warning to you out there um be very aware of what's in your food because it will affect your health and i think a lot of this stuff if you really get into the high levels of the toxicity with foods I think it will actually affect you spiritually, on a spiritual level. Um, I mean, it's just, it is like really, really, really bad, you know. So, just be careful what you eat. Um, pray over what you eat before you put it in your mouth, too. That's another big important thing. So, that's going to be it. Thank you for watching.